Welcome to this presentation of the PROAC system for root cause analysis. My name is John Bartlow with Reliability Center Incorporated and this presentation is doing RCA the way you want to do it. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at some of the barriers to doing a successful RCA. Requires too much time. Just too difficult to do. It's too expensive. There's a lack of standardization across the facility. It's difficult to share lessons learned and cannot demonstrate impact on the bottom line for your financial people. Now that we've looked at some of the barriers to doing a successful root cause analysis, let's look at some of the common tools that are used to do RCA. First we have the five whys. Depending on the severity of the event that you're analyzing, this is a method that came out of the field, the quality field, and you simply ask yourself a question five times, drilling down in a linear fashion until, until you get to a single conclusion for the failure that you're analyzing. Another common method is the fishbone diagram. In this particular one, uh, we're looking at the six M's. And, and the way we have our diagram positioned, our fish is oriented swimming upstream. The fish head would represent the problem statement. And then we have man, method, management, materials, machine, and measurement. And we would explore any or all of those categories to see where we may have had a weakness or a failure may have occurred. And there is also a categorical approach to doing root cause analysis. Uh, where you simply, similar to a fishbone diagram, you will, you will explore certain categories that you have designated as important areas, again, to explore where a failure may have occurred or where you may have weaknesses. In, in this particular uh, example, we have chosen communication, equipment and facility, human factors, policy and procedure, supervision, and technology and training. And I've listed also some other, a couple of other uh, common cause categories, and, and there are many others which different organizations may use. Now that we've looked at a few of these approaches to doing root cause analysis, let's take a look at the PROAC system and see how it can accommodate these approaches. Okay, now we are in the PROAC suite for doing RCA. And we're looking at a listing here where each of these line items represents a complete RCA in my database. So I will just go into my 5Y example. And you can see here in ProAct we have several different features um, that are available to you where uh, preserve, where you can do your data collection and preserve evidence, order, where you can manage and put together your team to conduct the analysis. Analyze is where we build our cause and effect logic tree. Communicate is where we make our recommendations based on the findings of our investigation and also generate our report. And then tracking is to track the effectiveness of those recommendations to ensure that something got better as a result of our efforts. But for this presentation, we're going to focus on the Analyze section where we build our cause and effect logic tree. So as I said, this is the 5Y example. So you can simply construct your linear 5Y tree with five blocks going straight down. And I can go in and edit the text in any way I need to um, by answering the question, why did the previous event occur, and then just make my way down the diagram. Now let's take a look at the fishbone example. I will go ahead and open that up and go to the analyze section again. And here I've got my fish head, which would be my problem statement, and I'm using the 6M. So if I would like to focus on how a machine could have failed, what I can do is I can bring up this feature called the build hypothesis list and I can brainstorm with my team. Perhaps uh, the machine itself failed, if that's how it was machine related. And I can put this in for consideration. Or maybe it was operator error. So I can add that also. 
So if we determine that both of these may have played a role, I can simply select the machine node and I can check these two and then I can add them to my tree for us to continue to continue the questioning process then we would ask how the machine failed and we could continue to add nodes onto our tree in this fashion. Now let's take a look at our cause category example. I will go ahead and close out of this analysis. and I will open up my cause category RCA and I will go to the analyze section and here we have our undesirable outcome and these cause categories that we have chosen or perhaps they are standard across our organization um, where they have been where they have been standardized as these are the cause categories that we're going to focus on communication equipment human factors, policy procedure, supervision, technology, and training. So let's say we want to look at technology and training. We want to ask the question, how could we have had a technology or training issue? So now if I would like to go ahead and add a node beneath technology and training related, can bring this up and so we can say uh, perhaps the user was not trained. and now that has been added onto my logic tree. We also have um, a template library available in ProAct which can be a very helpful tool after you have exhausted the knowledge of your team and you may want to look for some other ideas uh, that, that it, uh, are related to the failure that you're working on that exist in our template library. So let's take a look at that and bring up the templates and we have these five broad categories electrical, human, mechanical, operational, and quality and then there are subsets, two levels of subsets within each of these categories. So if I would like to continue to look at the training related uh, block on the tree maybe I will uh, narrow my search and go to the human error templates and I have just human error, injury error, procedure failure, program implementation, and supervision. I'm going to choose procedure and see what we have there. And I have all of these subsets within procedure violations, or excuse me, procedure failure. So let me just see what lack of training looks like. Okay, I've got a small template here where uh, we may have had uh, these possibilities where there's just inadequate training or it's just too informal, uh, lack of testing or certification, or maybe it was a training record error where someone uh, was thought to have been trained but they actually were not due to a record keeping error. Um, I will go ahead and choose the informal training process. If I would like to copy that and then go back to my tree that I'm working on and I can, I can just paste that right here beneath the technology and training related node and I can con continue to search the uh, templates to add on to my tree as I see fit. So let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at them again. And see if maybe we have something that is uh, equipment and facility related. So I'll bring up the templates once again, and let's look at injury this time. Maybe there was something in our physical environment, and let's take a look at uh, fall. Okay. So these are one of the fall templates in our injury uh, category. Um, perhaps uh, there was improper fall protection due to these possibilities or working alone uh, due to these possibilities and so forth. So if I, if, if I believe that this was part of the uh, failure, I, again, I can just copy that, go back to my tree and paste it onto my tree and I can continue to drill down in that fashion. So what we are trying to communicate in, in this presentation is the flexibility of the PROACT system that, that will accommodate most any method that you would like to use depending on your level of expertise on doing root cause analysis and also depending upon the level of severity of the incident that you're investigating. The important thing is to have a tool that can, that can accommodate 
uh, the appropriate process that you would like to use for doing root cause analysis. Some of the templates that we have available are shown for you here within the electrical category. We have templates in, in all of these uh, subsets and within the mechanical, again, we have all of these subsets. The human error, as we looked at, have these and we have operational and quality as well. I would like to thank you for your time in watching this presentation. If you would like to get more information about the PROACT system, we invite you to visit us at www.reliability.com or you can contact us at the contact information you see here. Thank you for your time.